Boolean operators are simple words used as conjunctions to combine or exclude keywords in a search, resulting in more focused and productive results. The proper use of Boolean operators should save time and effort by removing inappropriate items from search results. There are three Boolean operators used most frequently. They are AND, OR, and NOT. Let's start with AND. AND is how you combine keywords in a search. This means using the AND tells the database that a source must have this AND this in order to show up in your search results. For example, let's say you want to find articles that talk about the relationship between income levels and obesity. If you type income and obesity into a search box and press search, you will be presented with a list of articles that have both income and obesity in them. You will not see articles that have only income or only obesity. The AND is useful because you will almost always need multiple keywords in order to adequately describe your topic. The AND is how you make sure all of those keywords are present within search results. Now let's talk about OR. Using the OR is how you expand your search results to include all of the different ways an idea can be expressed. You will find that in many cases there are multiple keywords that can describe the same idea. For example, if you are a health sciences student doing a paper on heart attacks, you could call them heart attacks or use the medical term myocardial infarction. Using the OR tells the database that you want to see either one of these keywords. Another example is if you're doing research involving children. The author of a source may call them children, but they could also call them kids, youth, adolescents, or teenagers. All of these keywords are describing the same group of people. Typing each of these keywords in a search box with an OR between them uh, tells the database that you will accept any of them, as long as at least one of them is present. The third Boolean operator is NOT. Using NOT removes sources from your list results. There are many reasons why you may want to remove sources from your list of results. A common reason is because your results are littered with sources on a topic unrelated to what you need. All of these extraneous items make it difficult to locate sources relevant to your topic. Using NOT to remove them makes it easier for you to find what you need. As an example, let's say you need to find articles that talk about the use of assessments in K-12 special education. When you run your search, you see a lot of items talking about special education assessment at the college level. These are unrelated to your topic and you want to remove them. If you type college into a search box and select not in the drop down box to the left, then press search, you will remove any article that contains the word college.